Hey guys, for today's project, we're gonna give these tissue boxes a makeover. I got these at the ReStore. They were two for 50 cents, so I got four of them. And they're just plain black plastic tissue boxes. So I thought these would be like a good base to sort of, you know, decorate and just have some fun with and make them more interesting so they can fit into our decor. So let's go ahead and get started with today's project. I do have to clean these up though before we get started. So let's head out to the cardboard. I'll clean these up and then we'll begin. First, we'll clean these up with some rubbing alcohol, and then let's go ahead and change the color. So I'm going to use this Rust-Oleum Flat White Primer. We'll prime these inside and out, and we'll let that dry and then do a second coat. Since these are black, they are going to require a second coat to get a nice uh, opaque finish. After we finish priming, we'll work on these one at a time, painting and decorating them. On this first tissue box, I'll use Rust-Oleum Champagne Pink. It's a really pretty rose quartz with a glowy satiny finish. So I'm doing the first coat, I let that dry about a half hour, and then come back and do a second coat. I'll be using a couple of these contact papers to decorate our tissue boxes. So I have two metal effects that I got at Home Depot, one in copper and silver. I don't know if I'm going to use a silver one yet, we'll see. And then the marble contact paper is from Lowe's. I'm going to go with the copper for the rose quartz box because I think that's a really pretty color combination. Since my boxes are slightly tapered, just drawing straight lines is not going to fit the box properly. So what I do is lay it out on the contact paper and I use dots to mark where I want my corners to be on the piece that I'm going to be cutting out. Um, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. I just mark the corners as I flip the box back and forth, making sure it's going to be the right uh, length that I need to cut out. And then once you're happy with the angles that you have with your dots, then go ahead and connect the dots together. So hopefully you can see there, I have three dots going across the bottom and that just marks out where my corners are. And then the dot at the top is just to show how high I want my contact paper to be. And so basically I'm forming kind of an asymmetrical triangle piece to fit on my box. And then I double check just to make sure that my angles are right. And once you're happy with how your contact paper is going to fit, you can peel the back off and apply it slowly and smoothly, or you can just rip the whole back off like I did and just go for it and stick it on there. Um, I also cut out a second piece to go on the other side, so I have matching sides. Our next tissue box we're going to cover with marble contact paper and this would look really cool actually with any of the contact papers but we'll do the marble for this one. So we're going to turn our box upside down, find the center of your contact paper and trace around the top of the box. So you should have a square. And then tip the box onto its side and trace around the sides and the bottom. And then you'll take turns tipping the box back up to the center and back down to each side and repeating tracing around the sides and the bottom. And we'll also need to trace out the hole where the tissue dispenses. On two of our sides, we're going to need flaps. So I'm taking my measuring stick and I'm just paralleling our lines that we already made for the sides. Just come out about a half inch or so. I made mine a little bit wider, but that's okay. And then we're going to repeat that on the opposite side. So our sides with flaps are directly across from each other. Now we'll make the bottom flaps. So I just align my measuring stick with the inside of the box and draw a line straight out. This flap is just to create a smooth edge on the bottom of our box and it's going to wrap around to the inside. I know right now it's hard to see the pencil marks, but as I'm cutting it out, you'll be able to see the pattern a lot easier. Alright, so here's our pattern. We have two regular sides and then two sides with flaps. And now I'm going to cut out the center piece where the tissue dispenses. Mm -hmm. 
And now we'll carefully peel off the backing of our contact paper and apply our pattern to our box. So first we start with centering the top of our box. And once you have that stuck down, then you're gonna reach under there and just kind of smooth it out and make sure there's no air bubbles. And next we apply the sides with the flaps and just continue smoothing down the contact paper as you go. And those side flaps, we're gonna be smoothing over the corners. And the bottom flaps fold inward to the inside. And then we apply our last two sides, which are our regular sides, and then fold in those bottom flaps and you're all done. For our third box, I'm using Rust-Oleum Bright Coat in copper, and this is a really pretty copper. Michael had actually requested a copper tissue box, so I'm making this one for him. And I applied one coat, let it dry for about 30 minutes, and then went back and applied a second coat. box I'm using Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch in flat white and I'm just applying it over our primer that we did earlier and I just want a nice bright white opaque finish for this project. And for this one I'm using two different contact papers. I'm going to use the copper one and I'm repeating the steps that we did on the rose quartz box for this one. So I trace out my dots and I cut that out and that's going to be my sort of triangle piece that wraps around the corners. And then I measured two diamond pieces and cut those out in the marble contact paper. And these will fit in the opposite corners just above the copper contact paper. Alright guys, that was the tissue box makeover. Just a really fun, easy to do, budget friendly DIY with an item that's pretty basic that most of us have access to and have sitting around in our house anyways, so why not make it pretty and fit in with our decor? And if you have a favorite tissue box that we made today, I would love to hear which one it was in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you soon.